Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO3 2 plus MgI2. This is lead to nitrate and we have magnesium iodide. So the first thing we need to do for a net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. It looks like this. Nitrates, they're very soluble, so both of these compounds will be aqueous, dissolved in water. Magnesium iodide, that's also soluble, but this lead to iodide, iodides in general are soluble, except lead to iodide is one to watch out for, good one to remember. That's going to be a solid, it's insoluble, so it's a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So that's our solid here in this double displacement reaction. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation, and that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So that lead to iodide, that's going to stay together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, we have two nitrate ions. Here in the products, we also have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. Reactants, the magnesium ion, and in the products again, magnesium. So we cross those out. Everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for PBNO3 2 plus MgI2. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO3 2 plus MgI2. Note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus here and 2 times 1 minus. That's 2 minus. So 2 minus 2 plus, that adds up to 0. So net charge of 0 here in the reactants. Products, that's neutral. Net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation of lead to nitrate plus magnesium iodide. Thanks for watching.